corona time, baby. I'm not gonna talk about it, because you've heard it all before. What I am gonna talk about, though, is my life has been taken over by TikTok. I'll be on one app and realize it's not stimulating me fast enough, so I'll get on TikTok, so I'm like, this dopamine hit's gonna be so good. It's a problem. Y'all are worried about the coronavirus. You should be worried about your cellular device. I heard there's radiation that comes out of it. That's why I sleep with it under my pillow every night. So the radiation goes right through my brain. And hopefully I'll be a superhero one day. I'm quite a fan of TikTok art videos. So this is me having my take on TikTok art challenges. Let's get into it. New artist challenge. In the center of a piece of paper, draw some doodles. They can be as complex or as simple as you'd like. Surround the doodle with black ink. Add some white flecks for stars, and you have a piece of art. So I chose not to use the flicking white method just because I had a lot of fun just making this super, super dark, and I did not want to lose that, all right? I feel like I don't use a lot of negative space that often, and I really enjoyed it for this. So maybe you'll see more negative space in the future because I'm a little obsessed. So art imitates life, guys, all right? And the story behind this guy is that he flew to Mars to escape Earth in its current pandemic, only just to discover that the real disease is loneliness. Eh? Uh, eh? Uh. I hope when everyone goes to Mars, Earth will balance itself out again and we can all enjoy the beautiful nature that's left to us. Here's an art challenge for all you artists out there. Draw a picture with one continuous line without picking up your pen or pencil even once. Let's see what you come up with on your first try. No do-overs. No matter how often I do this technique, no matter how many times I try, I can never get it the way I want it to be. <sighs> so I didn't like the first one. What do I do? I try again. I guess I really just don't know when to quit when I'm ahead. And yes, I mean it when I say that this might be me ahead. I added some flowers. I don't know what it is about continuous line type of things, but I'm bad at it. Oh man, the mm. Way darker than I wanted. Way darker than I wanted. Oh. Here is my second attempt. I'm adding some color in the background because I felt like that was something I was missing. Um, I don't exactly love my second attempt either, but I am happy I tried again. This is a style that I really enjoy to look at. I just haven't been able to do successfully on my own. So I'm gonna keep practicing, but not in this video. No, no, I know you guys are tired of seeing it. So just grab any piece of paper and a marker. Draw any lines. It can be any shape. Put dots anywhere you want on the line. Now just use the dots to connect the lines. When you're done, you can add like any other line going out. With these little white bits, you can just fill it in from other, like, yeah. So yeah, when you're done, you can color it or whatever. I don't really care. Bye. Okay, so to fit the tone of the world right now, I added. Why are all these boys in my yard? Oh my gosh, my milkshakes! This one is my personal favorite because it is a bit mindless to create, but also very aesthetically pleasing. All these add up to make something very therapeutic. Now she explains what she's doing in the video, but there's copyright music, so I'm so sorry to her, but I cut it out. Um, essentially, you just lay down a bunch of colors, and if you're like her, you're really good at picking color schemes, and everything you make is gorgeous. But if you're like me, you throw pinks and purples together and hope it works out. Now after your blobs are all laid out, you add white line work to all the flowers and then just watch it come together. As I'm editing this, I am already on day 8 of self-quarantine and I think I'm losing my mind a little bit. 
One thing that I knew could potentially happen but didn't think it would hit this hard, I miss connection. I miss talking to people in real life. I miss seeing people in real life. I miss it so much. Just the little simplest connection from seeing someone at a store, from seeing someone at work, from passing someone down the street. Anything, I'm telling you, I miss it so, so much. And I'm not gonna take it for granted when this is all over, I think. But in the meantime, if you need someone to talk to, my comments are open because I also need someone to talk to. I am getting cabin fever and Nick is an introvert, so he needs his space sometimes. A quick little interlude. My grandpa is in a nursing home now, recovering from surgery, and I can't visit him anymore. I was visiting him for a really long time while he was in the hospital, but now that he's officially in the nursing home and we're officially in quarantine, I can't visit him as much as I used to. So I'm making him a card and I'm gonna try to continue writing to him as much as I can. It's kind of hard because Nothing like this has ever happened in any of our lifetimes. So I know it's hard for him and it's confusing for him. So we're trying to make him feel loved in every way possible right now. Thank you.